I think I'm going to relax. It's not yet time for bed. It's like 7.16. But, uh... Ugh. So, yeah, the schmog's been pretty nice. Keeping the bugs out of my face, my neck. Oh, I can't forget you guys. So welcome to the lair. <laughs> Last time you guys were in this in this uh, shelter here was when we went to. Um, it was actually my first. Uh, the first time I used it was when you guys were first in it, but it was. Um, oh, I think it was right before winter was getting ready to start. Remember, I had that limb that came down on this, and I didn't know what it was at one middle of the night. It was just a little tiny limb. <laughs> this, it, it dropped so far, I thought it was a huge limb, but thank God it wasn't. Let's get it zipped up here. Oh. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot of room in here. There we go. Oh. I'll tell you what, these zippers are very nice. The only thing over here, just this is a giant hole. I, mean, I could literally put my whole hand through that. <laughs> That's the only downfall of this shelter. But what can you do? See, there's a tick right there too. See it? And he's on the outside. Oh man, I had a bunch on my leg earlier. I gotta get him off. There we go. You get a little more, a little more head space in here, in, in this configuration, in the uh, tropical configuration. So, yeah, it feels pretty good. Got a lot more uh, arm room and stuff in here, and as you can see, because I put the extra pole in there, and that extends it up more, and that gives room to put this mosquito net in here. So I'm just gonna chill out in here for a little bit guys until bedtime and then we'll uh, probably either, I brought a candle but I also got the chem light so we might just try the chem light tonight, I don't know. Just to see how it works, if it does work. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, all right? Well guys, you can see me here. Using it, there we go. Yeah, you see me. <laughs> well, it's nighttime, so we're gonna go ahead and try out that Kim light. And uh, I have my red uh, headlamp on, and that really does well for keeping your night vision going strong. <laughs> does it ruin your night? Uh, does it ruin? Doesn't blind you? So okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get the chem light here. All right, this is the chem light right here. Uh, I can't pronounce the name of it, but it's Kyalum or something, but it's a military, or it's a contractor, it makes for the military. They make stuff for the military, basically. <laughs> That's what I mean to say. So the expiration date on this is 114. So 2014. So what is that? Let's see, so it's seven years ago. <laughs> Wow. So yeah, we're gonna try this out. It's a four inch one too. So let me turn my light off here. Actually, no, we can snap it here. So you're just supposed to snap it like that. Shake it. I'll turn my light off here. And look at that. Still works. <laughs> and it's expired. bad to have anything to hang it up in here and with but that's pretty cool 
So that works. I'm kind of curious on how long it's going to last. Now what's good about this is if you need to read maps and stuff like that or if you need to mark stuff at night, this is perfect for that. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> we'll just set it out here. What's funny is I literally just broke my my tripod. The cheap generic plastic broke off. Oh gosh, I can't believe that broke. Oh well, nothing a little T-Rex tape can't fix. Uh, so I will tell you what, that thing is really, that thing is really bright <laughs> for being like six, seven years. Heck, let's just throw it all the way out here. What do you think? Let's go. See, way out there, it's probably... I don't know, 10 feet out. It's kind of cool. <laughs> well, guys, I'm going to hit the sack. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. If anything exciting happens in the middle of the night, I will get back with you. All right, guys, good night and see you soon. Okay, I brought you guys back. It's going on midnight. I have no... It's not long at all. I have no idea what these animals are, or birds. There's a bird, like, right over here. And there's a bunch of, I think, coyotes way down there, and owls and stuff. I have no idea, but oh my gosh, I am not going to be able to sleep tonight if they don't stop. Alright, I'm going to try to sleep. Ah, 7.14 a.m. Good morning, guys. Oh, we're alive and well. <laughs> oh. Everything's still out there. Oh, I want to get out of my bag. Well, let's get out of the tent and we'll talk about what, what went on through the night and how the sleep bag did and we'll get some coffee going and yeah. I really don't feel like getting out of here. I put the cinch cord all the way around on this thing. I am like completely in this bag. Let's just say the bag did really well. <laughs> all right. Not the way over there. Oh, all right. Whew. Let's go over here to the fire pit and uh, <laughs> let's get some coffee going.
no coffee cup today, guys. <laughs> Good morning to you. Take a drink of this real quick. really good <laughs> ah so last night wasn't too bad it was a little rough on my back uh, I was up probably every say I was up I was in bed by 11 I think I fell asleep around 11 and I was up by 12 something and I think one yeah 120 then like 220 I'm like geez and then I finally fell back asleep about 240 three o'clock almost and I woke back up at 430 and I woke back up around 7-ish. So, it was a bit rough. But I, I've had worse night's sleep than what I did last night. So, But we survived. Uh, the USG Patrol blanket did really well. Or sleep bag. It did really well. And in this configuration, the shelter, you have a lot more room than you would in the four-season configuration. So, we have like that much more room. <laughs> so, pretty cozy. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little Memorial Weekend Overnighter. And uh, I'm going to finish this coffee, and uh, we'll get on the trail, and we'll get the heck out of here. And I'll talk to you guys then, okay? Well, and that's that, guys. We are getting out of here. Make sure I didn't forget nothing. It looks pretty good. Ah, I really dislike sand. Oh. And the bugs are out pretty good right now because it definitely looks like it's gonna rain. See, the clouds are kind of dark. Oh. The bugs are horrible right now. The bugs weren't that bad last night, so it was pretty nice. And hence, that's one reason why I'm wearing Shemag. I'm starting to wear these more, uh, where I'm wanting to wear them more. And I'm doing it to keep the bugs out of my neck. And I realized last night it caught a lot of my sweat. So that was kind of nice. So, a lot of uses for these Shemags. Oh yeah, and I brought the torch with me. <laughs> I can take it home and show Angel something pretty cool tonight. So I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure, the overnighter, long overdue. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm hiking back to the car and we're gonna get out of here. So yeah, uh, one more thing before I go. There's a couple things. The Kim light, I was wanting to hang in my shelter last night, but I didn't have any kind of way to hang it. I can't remember if my shelter had a hook loops on it or anything. So. That was kind of a bummer. I was gonna try to hang it up, see how long it lasts all night. But uh, I woke up many times in the middle of the night and that thing was still glowing strong. <laughs> so that's six, seven years past its expiration date. So that's pretty nice. So anyway, so that said, be on the lookout for some more videos. And I think our next video is gonna be on an Altoid can. And uh, it's gonna be one survival Altoid can of my own doing. And we're gonna, put together piece by piece and I don't think there's gonna be one like the one I have I'm putting a lot of thought into it so uh anyways I will see you guys in the next adventure and thanks for coming along and make sure you hit subscribe all well, you guys know what to do all right <laughs>
hit subscribe, like, share, and all that good stuff. Really appreciate it. God bless you guys. See you in the next adventure.